My name is Silas Buck. I am a postdoctoral associate at Duke University. So I'm interested in proteins whose mutations are responsible for genetic forms of Parkinson's disease. Studying these proteins and how they're dysfunctional in Parkinson's disease can inform us not just about those genetic cases, but also how Parkinson's disease forms in cases that don't have a clear genetic cause as well. And so I study LARC2, which is one of the proteins whose genes is one of the most common causes of genetic forms of Parkinson's disease. What I'm studying is how LARC2 may cause the accumulation of a protein called tau. Tau, misfolded, can accumulate into these clumps in the brain cells, and that can cause neurons or brain cells to degenerate and lead to not just the motor symptoms, but tau specifically is also associated with the cognitive symptoms that are seen in Parkinson's disease. So addressing the causes of this tau protein accumulation can help potentially treat these non-motor symptoms in Parkinson's disease. We think that there might be a protein that's mediating this effect of LARC2 on tau protein accumulation. And we hypothesize that this protein is histone deacetylase 6, or HDAC6. And our preliminary data suggests that LARC2 may be interacting with tau as well through HDAC6, and this can lead to changing, theoretically, tau's ability to form these detrimental aggregates or clumps. And then hopefully through inhibiting HDAC6, we could then potentially reverse that detrimental effect on tau. This fellowship from the Parkinson's Foundation will be completely key to helping me develop into a fully independent scientist and investigator where I can one day have my own research program and run my own lab to continue investigating mechanisms of degeneration in Parkinson's disease. So for my work specifically, I think looking into HDAC6 is very exciting. If we show there's a positive effect of HDAC6 inhibition in Parkinson's disease models, there's great potential for repurposing these drugs for use in Parkinson's disease, and that could help accelerate getting this sort of treatment into the clinic for patients. I would just like to say thank you for helping not just me, but all of the great scientists who are really doing amazing work in helping to bring clinically meaningful treatments to the patients as quickly as possible. And so I really think everyone that's being supported is doing really amazing work. Mm -hmm.